Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the look and review of the latest insider preview of Windows 10. This will be two parts so it gives you an idea of how much or how many new features there is in this version of Windows 10. So the first part and the two part will uh, of course be uh, one next to each other so as soon as you get the first part and you should see the second part available. Now, um, sorry for the voice, I've got a bad cold and I'm really, really uh, not feeling that well and actually took medication to uh, feel better, so I might even sound a little drowsy or a little different than usual. So this is Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, Evaluation Copy, Build 14316, RS1 for Redstone 1, that was released today, April 6th. Uh, install went super well for the first time in I don't know many weeks. I had a version that installed well. It also has a new way of installing itself. You know, uh, before we had that big black screen with a circle and a certain number of uh, percentage that you would see the progress go through. Now it's a blue screen, has three steps, and you see the progression in each step in a written format. No big circle like there was before. Uh, I think that looks better. It actually feels better than the big circle than they, that they had uh, when you updated your versions. Went super well, no blue screen, and uh, typically installed in a relatively uh, you know normal time pattern, I would say, for a uh, install of Windows 10. So there's lots of new stuff in this version. That's why I split the video in two because I don't want to have a video that's going to last like an hour and that everybody's going to go a little crazy over. By splitting in two, at least we can have parts of the uh, new features in one and another part in another one. So, what's new? Well, lots of stuff is new. Uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about, of course, is Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge now, much faster. Um, I had you know a lot of problem with Edge in the last versions. And this is much better than they had in the past um, uh, few insider previews, basically. So um, it it's fast when you ask for something, a uh, web page or anything. What's new also? Uh, extensions. So if you go into extensions and go into get extensions, there are new extensions available. And the ones that were there are updated. So all of the... Um, different extensions are actually better. Microsoft Translator, Reddit Enhancement, Sooth, Mouse Gestures, but we now have OneNote Clipper and Pin It button for Pinterest. So that is pretty cool and I can tell you they've really really improved these buttons. For example I've installed the extension for Microsoft Translator and what happened is that the last time when you did that it took a certain time before the uh, extension appeared. Now it's much quicker. So you see that it's much better. Also, last time, if you remember my test, it was kind of horrible because when I wanted to uh, basically translate a web page, so I used this page last time. First of all, this page is much faster now to appear than last time, which took an eternity because this is a very, very uh, big page, has a lot of information and ads on it. Now, Last time, it took forever for a translation. Now, if I click the button to translate the page, <coughs> if you look at it, here it's already translated now. Look at this. And it was almost instantaneous. Much, much better than it was before. So this is really an improved translator um, extension, I can tell you that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And of course, more extensions will be um, appearing with time for Microsoft Edge. Uh, also, new ways of uh, organizing, basically, the different flavor, uh, flavorites. <laughs> favorites. Uh, what's cool with the favorites is that now you can import. Now it doesn't show here because it's not installed, but um, you know Firefox was missing from the import into uh, Edge. Now you will have Firefox. So if you got Firefox and you've got lots of favorites in the Firefox you can uh, import Firefox favorites for uh, this is a brand new feature. This is pretty, pretty cool. Also, in the way that you actually have access to the different favorites, what's nice is that they've done 
kind of a tree layout, a little bit like, you know, the file explorer uh, that had like um, all of these files. And when you clicked a folder to open it, it would open a little bit to the right so that it diff uh, it's, it's different from the list in general. So now they have this. If I click favorites bar here, you see that it's a little to the right and that it actually has this new tree type. Uh, so you see always to the right, uh, really a little bit like the file explorer, or if you use the uh, registry editor, you'll notice how the, uh, the the different things here, how it's better organized for that. Also better sync features. So that's also something that's quite cool. Uh, really better uh, syncing in between um, Microsoft Edge in different Windows 10 platforms. So um, that's pretty cool. Drag and drop folders. Um, so now you can upload folders to sites like OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive. Uh, you could drag and drop files before in one of the versions, but now uh, folders also, which is pretty cool uh, when you think about it. Uh, what else do we have you? Uh, here is also uh, download reminders when you actually download a file now in Edge. There's a reminder. If you close Edge before, it didn't really tell you anything and it just stopped the download. Now Edge has the download uh, reminder, which will tell you, oh, um, you know what? Look, there's a download going on, so uh, you can complete download prior to closing Edge. You can also change the save location of your downloads. So now when you um, choose advanced settings in uh, the uh, Microsoft Edge browser, you will have the possibility to change the download location. Uh, that was something that was by default and you couldn't do anything before. So that's pretty nice. Also lots of features for um, developers. So in uh, the F12 key for developers, there's new stuff uh, like accessibility tree view, DOM API profiling, extension debugging. There's new JavaScript features, uh, also experimental ones. There's new web platform features. So if you want to experiment with these new features of the web, uh, basically you have uh, Opus audio format available. Um, you also have a time element, data element, output element, and so on. Canvas path to the objects. Web speech API for word or speech synthesis. So, um, and also some experimental support for web notifications API and fetch API. So lots of new stuff in Edge itself, which is quite cool. Also, um, a new feature, the bash command. If you see here, if I type bash, it says bash on Ubuntu on Windows. That was one of the features that was kind of showing up a Linux type bash command line. And it's here, as you see, but you have to install it. And to install it, uh, basically, you need to go to the um, settings, go into all settings, and um, basically in update and security, you will go under for developers. And what you want to have is to add uh, some Windows uh, features basically. So um, when you search for uh, Windows features, uh, basically you'll have this turn Windows features on or off. It's going to give you a list. Uh, so it's easier to actually just type it here. And what you want to do is simply go to the bottom and there you want to have Windows subsystem for Linux. That's the better version. I just put the check mark. It takes several minutes to install and it needs to download, but once it's done, it works fine. So if you were looking for that uh, Linux bash command line, it's available right here in this version right here. Lots of Cortana improvements, including Cortana now can tell you across devices if battery is low. Um, you're looking at a map and you're actually taking directions to go somewhere, you can now actually ask Cortana to share those with all of your devices. So see, uh, for example, if you go to Cortana at home and you do a uh, search for a specific um, 
travel um, and you use you know the maps and you want to actually have directions what's cool here is that this is now transported to other devices so if you did it at home on your PC you'll have it on your phone you'll have it on another PC maybe you have with you or a tablet so that's pretty cool lots of uh, general improvements over Cortana for that so uh, this is the first part don't want to waste too much time here we're going to do a second part with the rest of the features now um, works well I can tell you that there's no crashes uh, it's pretty crisp pretty fast I think it's one of the best um, insider previews uh, since November 15 11 uh, version so I think this is pretty cool and has a lot of the features coming up this summer if you're not an insider these features that I'm showing you right now are going to be available in the um, July update for your Windows 10 install. I remind you, if you're not an insider, you should not be an insider unless you are prepared to reinstall Windows regularly. You should not have an insider preview on your main machine. This should be left for, uh, you know, uh, a special machine dedicated for that. And for those that are insiders but are waiting for better features and better versions, well, this one is, I think, the one you're waiting for to really get and grasp a new insider preview. You have to be in the fast ring, so make sure you're in the fast ring in your Windows updates. So this is the end of part one. Part two is coming up next, and of course, I hope you enjoy my review of the Windows 10 Insider Preview version 14. 316 released today April 6th. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And I hope you enjoy our videos.